Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who haven't visited before, welcome. And those of you who have been uh, looking at my videos, the few that I've posted so far, thanks for coming back. Lovely to have you all with me here today. So, today I am taking my bike in for its first service. So, we've just done about 550 miles. So, by the time we get to our destination today, we'll be bang on service miles required. So, uh, I've just jumped on and very helpfully there is a an option on the sat nav that comes with the bike or I should say comes with an option with the bike and it basically just can guide you straight to the nearest BMW motorrad so that's what we're following the, uh, the sat nav which I must say I'm struggling to see in this sunlight, so that's not great. But anyway, uh, I've said we should be there for half past one, so only 20 minutes on the back, and we should be there. So let's see how accurate that is. Wants me to go up here. Up here. And that says road ahead closed. Brilliant. So first issue is I can't go the way the Santa wants me to go. It's always the way, isn't it? Best laid plans. It can't get you there. So yeah, anyway, it was supposed to rain today, but fortunately it's not going to. So by the looks of it, it's not going to rain. So I'm going to just see where this will recalculate the route to. There we go. It's recalculating the route already. So we're around the closed road, so that's good. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Hopefully you can. So if you have a road closure, the sat nav will steer you in the right direction, which is handy. Especially when you don't quite know where you're going. So yeah, anyway, so I've had the bike now for just over two weeks. 15, 15 16 days I've had the bike for. And uh, yeah, it's quite familiar if you're coming off of the R1200R onto the R1250R. It's a very familiar experience, um, one which I enjoy very much. Um, it's an upright position uh, for the rider, which is really nice. Uh, the, the seat is all day comfortable, I'd say, really. It's a very nice seat. Not too much vibration through the pegs and the bar. There is some vibration, but not loads. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the it's a very easy bike to ride it's not intimidating you know for a 1250 cc bike it's really not intimidating like some of the sports bikes would be or other bikes uh, i can kind of see why the car in front of me went past this car because it's going extremely extremely slow we're doing 24 miles an hour here so as soon as i see a straight bit of road i will be overtaking you can see behind this is quite annoying uh yeah so the bike itself, the version I've got is the R1250R Sport, and uh, this one comes with cruise control, it comes with preparation for sat-nav, uh, heated grips, auto blipper up and down, uh, it's got the uh, preparation for panniers, which is really good. The BMW system is a really quick and easy system to put on and off. And I'll be putting those panniers on the bike today on the first service. So I'll do a review on those later. Um, the riding modes this bike has, it has four riding modes. Rain, Road, Dynamic and Dynamic Pro. And Dynamic Pro is one where you can mix and match the throttle and suspension response 
to uh, to what you like to what you'd like to do basically you know it's like a personalized experience now funnily enough I I come down this road most days or near to this road most days but I've never been down here before so let's see where this goes but yeah oh, look, tennis courts people around it's good nice to see people in the sunshine even though it's only 16 degrees today. It's a lot cooler today than it has been over the last few weeks. So yeah, feeling that breeze and less need for the vents to be open on my jacket. Yeah. So this bike's also got the ESA. Uh, it's a standard, uh, standard exhaust. I don't really like the aftermarket exhaust if I can avoid them I normally do I just think they're a lot of money for not very much uh, a bit more noise maybe a few more horsepower and I, I tend to like the original look of the bike a bit better with the with the normal exhaust the stock exhaust if you like uh, yeah, so the heated grips on the bike, they're not great, I wouldn't say. I mean, there's two settings. One's not quite warm enough and the other's a little bit too hot, in my personal opinion. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, everyone else, everyone has their own opinion. I prefer other retrofit heated grips, such as the uh, Oxford heated grips, which have four settings on them, which I think is much nicer more control and accurate heat for the uh, temperature around you for what you need but yeah the riding experience is a very easy and relaxed riding experience uh, it's not the sort of bike that's going to push you down the road and make you want to go faster uh, it has a uh, daytime running lights so they'll be on automatically for you if you want them to got cruise control which is really handy for when you're you know in areas that maybe you're not too familiar with you want to stick to the speed limits you want to keep around how fast you're going and on the longer journeys obviously it's lovely because you can sit on the motorway at a set speed and uh, it's not going to it's not going to be a uh, strain on your right hand keeping the uh, keeping the throttle open all the time so yeah That's a good feature. I really like the cruise control. Uh, and then some other things this bike has got. Um, it's got the tyre sensors. Tyre pressure sensors, should I say. So it will tell you that. And then you've got the usual bits and pieces here. So it will tell you how many miles you've got left. It will tell you uh, how many miles you've done. 575 I've done at the moment. So yeah, I'll bang on that 600 mile mark. Uh, your average miles per gallon, how many hours you've been on the bike, average speed, and the actual bar. So the front tyre should be 2.5 and the back should be 2.9. And my reading at the moment is 2.48 and 2.88. So that's within tolerance and that's fine. Uh, so that's, that's nice. The mirrors are really good. They work nicely. They stay in position. I can see well out back when I'm glancing into them. The seals behind me. But obviously, as we all know, the main focus is, you know, what's in front of you and carrying out your lifesavers. Love the colour in the blue and white and red. It's a really nice colour. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. This incarnation, it comes in four colours. And to be honest, apart from the black and the white, I really don't like the other colours. So, you know, I don't see the point in them, really. It's down to personal taste colour, obviously, but I don't really like the other colours so this was a bit of a no-brainer when this one came up this is an X demonstrator so it's fully loaded and uh, <clears throat> yeah low miles I picked it up with only 300 miles on it 340 miles something like that and uh, yeah it's a really really nice uh, oh god really nice bike oh Jesus can't see anything Ugh, yuck. 
Let's see. So yeah, skies are a bit grey today. There was some idea it may rain, but not looking like it at the moment, so that's good, but it is a bit cooler out here, like I said before, a bit cooler. day for a ride. It's nice and bright. The joggers around. And, uh, yeah. Got my little finger over. So now this guy wanted to go. So let him go. Limit's 50. And I have points, people, and I don't want any more, so going to be pushed down the road. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, I'm really impressed. In fact, actually, it's getting to that point where it is quite cold. And I'm going to put the heated grips on. I'm going to put the heated grips on. Let's see how they fare. So yeah, this is the kind of bike where, look, I'm on cruise now. I'm on 50, trundling along. And it's a lovely, uh, it's a lovely experience. Really, really calm. Confidence inspiring ride. And I'm really enjoying being back out on the bike after a year out, or a year and a half out. patience now on roundabouts you notice that even more so when you're on a bike people don't want to stop they want to creep 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 and uh, you know it can be quite intimidating if you're new to riding on a bike you're looking at people cars are all coming at you from all angles you've got to be so assertive and you have to expect drivers to be pulling out on you from all angles you know Every time you go past a crossroads or a junction or a side turning, you need to be looking for a car. Is there a car coming out? Is something there waiting to just pop out at me? You can never really relax too much, unfortunately. So yeah, anyway, I'm off to uh, Cannon Motorcycles in Braintree this afternoon. Got a two o'clock appointment, so I should be there a little bit ahead of time. Just a just a, a regular service and uh, picking up the panniers and also between you and me I'll admit it I've uh, managed to put the pillion seat back on with a little bit too much underneath it and it's jet closed I can't open it now I think that did happen to me once before on an R1200 but I managed to get it open but I can't do it on this one and there is less space under the seat on this one because there is an alarm so little box where the sound comes out and that sits under the pillion seat and uh, yeah it means you really can't fit much at all underneath the seat anymore wearing uh, earplugs as well because when I first started riding I noticed the amount of hearing I, I lost quite quickly uh, when riding a bike so you know I think you have to take that seriously once you lose hearing you can't get it back so always wear earplugs people that's my advice Clear 
road. shifter was not too bad actually but going up is a bit jumpy I find oh actually if you're trying to go fast though actually that's that's lovely if you're giving it a bit of welly and you don't want to use the clutch it's actually really quite nice Like I said, I've only had the bike for a couple of weeks, so I'm still getting used to using it, but uh, yeah, that's really, really nice. Just going past Chelmsford Racecourse. I suppose I'll be hoping there'll be some races back on soon, as they've announced that racing can now come in, so after the lockdown. Good actually, I think it's just a case of learning how to use it, but that is very nice. Left at the roundabout. That is nice. To not use the clutch and just tap up. Yeah, very good. about nine minutes. Let's see. You know, I've got a feeling that uh, the sat nav's taken me to the old, the old location. Now, I'll be very unimpressed if that is the case because this sat nav delivered new with the bike so I would expect it to have the correct location for the dealership it's not a major issue because the if it is the case it's taken me to the wrong place then the new place isn't that far away and I'll just use Google Maps but that's not really ideal is it
bang. Oh no, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. me to go up there. Oh dear. Let's go round the roundabout, the roundabout, the roundabout. Let's go round the roundabout. Again, again, again. Yeah, I do struggle with these sat nav sometimes. If there's not speaking to me, where does it want me to go? Here. Okay, here we go. And off at this junction. You see, when I'm looking at it, it's never catching up. Oh my goodness, this roundabout's awful. So it's very close, the, the, the new location is very close to the old location, uh, so that's fine. arches can you see them the golden arches so at the roundabout which we to turn right I do believe so let's do that let's get into the right gear fill Straight right. Or left, should I say? hoodwinked me because it is taking me to the wrong place I do believe still let's have a look
is taking me to the old the old place unfortunately so that's brilliant why would it do that why would it do that Okay, guys, let's pause here, and I'll put the right address in one second. Recording. Okay, so, we uh, <laughs> we punched in the right address, and we're off to Whittam, instead of Braintree. It's only uh, another ten minutes on, so that's fine, it's only local. But yeah, that's very disappointing, so the, uh, the sat-nav that came with the bike, the sat-nav 6, the brand new sat-nav, has not got the... Uh, the brand new uh, address, which is ridiculous in this day and age. I mean, surely just to update it. Because they moved about a year ago, I think, maybe longer. No doubt they'll tell me in the. Uh, in the. Uh, dealership that it's for me to update and not for them but let's see so we have to sell on that so anyway some nice lanes to ride along Crescent Temple coming up if anybody's interested Mr. Magpie, hello. There are some potholes in the road. Fortunately, we are six minutes away from Cannon Motorcycles. I'm a fan of these lanes, I do like them. Much nicer than just coming along the A12. I'd been at one before, a while back, and uh, I remember, I seem to remember that it was all A12, and then I cut off at the last moment, and then they were just there, but this is much nicer. Look at these sweeping lanes. Doesn't it make you so happy to be English? I know I bemoan the roads, to be honest, with the potholes, but actually, when you hit a sweet spot, when you hit a nice bit of road, it's a great place to be. With all the green, you know, and the tarmac just cutting through it all. It's a beautiful place to be riding your bike. You know, so many people go abroad, obviously because of the weather. But when, when, when the weather's in, in this country, it really is a lovely, lovely place to ride your motorbike. So anyway, we'll shortly be arriving at our destination. So I'm going to stop the video here. And uh, perhaps we'll have a little walk around the showroom to see what models they have on offer in the showroom. As we come into the 30. Okay, so good evening more or less now. 20 past four. Uh, the bike is serviced and uh, as you can see it's raining a little bit out here uh, wasn't wasn't planning on rain but mother nature she rules doesn't she and unfortunately my trousers are not waterproof so <laughs> gonna try and get home as soon as possible satnav has me hitting jumpsford in just 17 minutes so 
hopefully that is the case and I'm taking the quick route home it's not the pretty route it's uh, the A12 no mucking about just gonna get home because riding in the rain is not fun people it's not fun at all but of course it will give me an opportunity to give the bike a good clean I suppose won't it you know and here we go lorry 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 obviously very quick actually getting out of there which is nice So we have got our bow back to Chelmsford and I'm not completely soaked which is good. The bike is going to need a wipe down. Of course we understand this don't we people, we know this, we know this. Uh, I'm into the reserve of the tank, uh, 42 miles to go. So the reserve comes on at about 45-50 miles I do believe. Uh, but yeah so We uh, keep looking around to get that neck moving, to see what's going on around us. But yeah, I think with the white boxes as well now, the bike will have a much more visual presence, uh, which is good. And on this particular ride today, I have got used to the uh, auto blipper up and down a little bit more. And it's growing on me, I will say, it's growing on me. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. As we bump down, as we bump down again. Bump down into first. Yeah, that's brilliant, actually. That's really good. That's a really good feature. <coughs> One bad thing about riding is you get the bad air. Air pollution. Air pollution. So just a little bit of a shower, and as I was coming down the A12, I was getting worried that it was going to get very heavy, and it may get heavy later on, but hopefully I'm going to just get home in time to uh, 
to miss the worst of it. Fingers, fingers, fingers crossed.